Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video explores various mathematical functions available in Java. When I say about mathematical functions implies you want to calculate square root or you might want to calculate trigonometric function. So we have various mathematical functions available in Java that helps you to do all these calculations. Now to use mathematical functions, say I system.out.println, I have a math with a capital M class dot and then I can say SQRT if you want to find square root of any number. Suppose I write 16. If I compile and if I now execute, you would see square root of 16 is 4.0. Same way, if you want to write other mathematical functions, I can say math.pow. Now, pow takes two values. Definitely, first one is the number. Second one is the raised to of that. Suppose I say here 2, 4. So, what should this give me? 2 to the power 4. 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16. Then I can also use, suppose, max. And I say max of 16 comma 56 i can also use min which wherein now i say 16 comma 56 so when i say max this should print 56 this should print 16 if in case you want to find you want to round off the decimal values so you have various functions for that so for example i have seal now here i say seal two point 3. Seal is at a higher value. So when I say you give me a seal value of 2.3, it gives me the higher next nearest value that is 3.0. Same way, if I say math.floor and if I write the same value 2.3, in that case it gives me the lower highest value that is 2.0. If you say math dot round, if you say math dot round, and here suppose I provide a value 2.5. Now round and rint, then I also have a function called as rint rint. And let's see 2.5. Now let's just compile these and see what they print. So you can see this prints 4, this is 16.0, then we have 56, that's the max, minimum that is 16, seal which gives me the next higher value that is 3.0, 2.3 floor gives me the lower highest value that is 2.0. Now here you can see round, rounds of the value, so 2.5, anything 0.5 and plus rounds off to 3. Now 2.5 here it gives me 2.0. Now how does the rent function works is let's try with some other values as well. So suppose I write here round and I'll say 2.2 and here I'll say R I N T. So we have these values round 2.5. Now round 2.5 should give us 3.0. 2.2 round should give us 2.0. Now when I say R I N T round to a nearest integer value, 2.5 gives me 2.0. And 2.2 also gives me 2.0. Let's verify. So you can see round of 2.5 gives you 3. Okay, it's not 3.0, it's 3. Same way this also gives you 2. Okay, so round returns a value that is integer. The next nearest integer value. 2.5 should ideally be giving me 3. But how does round of integer takes place is it rounds off to the nearest even integer. So 2.5 should ideally be giving me 3. But 
the nearest even value is 2 so it returns me 2.0 and 2.2 definitely it returns me the nearest integer value that is 2.0 so seal floor round rent are the functions which are used when you want to convert a decimal number to the nearest of their values round it off then we also have a function suppose i say system dot out dot print ln and math dot random now random is a function which allows you to generate random numbers between 0 and 1 so if i compile and execute you can see it gives you 0 0.07 you run it once again this time you will get a different value so random function gives you random values between 0 and 1 now if you want to get values between say 1 and 6 suppose you are creating an application for a dice a ludo or snakes and ladder where you roll a dice now you want to be able to generate random numbers between 1 and 6 in that case i can say random and i want to generate numbers between 6 and 1 1 and 6 so higher value is 6 and the lower value is 1 now if you want the integer values between 1 and 6 then you can typecast it to an int so to print values between 1 and 6 we typecast and we put this hole as well in the bracket now let's compile and execute and see for random functions 0 0.23 that's always between 0 and 1 and here you can see 3 if i again execute 0 0.82 and we have 6 if i execute again you can see 0 0.3 0 0.322 and Five. So this is how you can use math dot functions. So if you just say math dot, you will find the list of functions available. You want to find the absolute of a value. You want to find the trigonometric functions, cube root, seal, uh, cos, decrement, floor, max, min. You can see we have all those kind of values. So this is the way you can use the various mathematical functions available in java at the same time we can also use the value for pi so when i say math dot pi that is again a constant it will display the value of 22 by 7 so if we execute this compile and execute you would see it's 3.14159 and so on so this then you can use for calculating area of circle or any those kind of programs where you need the value of pi. There are definitely assignments on this topic whose link is provided in the description. Do not forget to solve the assignments and test yourself for any questions. Do ping me in the comment section. Uh, and with this we come to an end to this video. Happy learning. Take care and bye bye.